Hello guys and welcome to another video here on the channel. If you are already a member of the community, thanks a lot for coming to check out this video. If you're new to the channel, thank you. Um, thank you for coming here to check it out. Um, if you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell, thumbs up, comments, all that stuff. If you are a veteran of YouTube, you already know how much all that stuff helps and I really appreciate it. Um, what For you, those of you who may just be clicking or those of you who, who don't really know exactly what I'm up to, Game Tech Planet is a channel I started to test a game mostly and um, as I've grown a little bit I've um, also testing all cloud gaming services including cloud PC services like shadow which is one of the big reasons why we're here for this video today um, so testing games testing any new laptops um, GPUs consoles anything like that that I get I don't get things that often on a small channel but when I do get them I overview them and go over them here on the channel just like the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 uh, Ryzen 4500U I've been uh, going over on a channel I got that for game testing and for some personal use but then I also did a full series of videos uh, kind of deep dive testing into that and I'll do that anytime I get something uh, here for the channel it may not be that often but I, I get into those so that along with the game testing and when the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X come out I will also incorporate those heavily into the channel to compare versions of games between the two consoles PC shadow and other cloud gaming platforms so that's really what we get into here with the testing the comparing and all of that kind of cool stuff so with that out of the way, um, I just want to say we are here to talk about Shadow PC today more than we are cloud gaming. I have a full uh, cloud gaming video coming out soon for you. It's going to be comparing PlayStation Now, Stadia, GeForce Now, Shadow, all the services that are out right now available for the public. xCloud is not out available for the public right now, so that's not going to be included. But I'm going to do a deep dive into those in a video very soon, um, kind of going over their state today, their pricings, what you get, available games games and all kinds of things like that. So a, a deeper cloud platform, cloud gaming video is on its way. This is more about talking about why Shadow PC is more of a cloud PC. It's more of a PC in general than it is a cloud gaming platform. It's so completely different from anything like GeForce or Stadia or any of that, um, that it is just much, much more like a local PC. And to truly just compare Shadow to other cloud gaming services isn't that fair to them or to Shadow, really. I've seen a lot of videos lately that are strictly comparing Shadow's gameplay and graphics right to cloud gaming platforms rather than to other PCs, and that's just not how I prefer to do it here. Um, Shadow is cloud. It, Shadow allows you to access your PC games in the cloud, but Shadow is not a cloud gaming platform. There's a big difference, especially with a lot more cloud gaming coming out. And I thought it would be fun to make this video, put the information out there, give you guys something to think about, and uh, get the ball rolling before the next deeper cloud video uh, comes out. So we are going to take. We are going to use GeForce Now. Stadia to compare to GeForce Now or to Shadow, which is exactly what I said I don't do a lot of, but we're, we're going to use them as examples. We're going to do some loading. We're going to check out Metro Exodus. Metro Exodus is one of the few games I own that's available both on Epic, which gives it to me on GeForce Now and Shadow, and also on Stadia uh, because Stadia has Metro Exodus and I owned it there. So having a game that's available everywhere right now on all the platforms can be a little bit difficult. I think Assassin's Creed Odyssey the Division 2 um, and Metro Exodus. I think, I'd have to double check, but I think those are the only three games you can actually play on all on Stadia, GeForce Now, or Shadow, or your PC. Um, I don't believe there are any that they're available everywhere because Stadia does have such a small game library right now. So let's use GeForce Now and Stadia to not only will be, we be able to compare those two services to each other just a little bit in this video, we'll use those two main cloud gaming platforms to compare to Shadow so that I can explain more to you what I'm talking about, why Shadow is more of a PC than it is cloud gaming, and why I test Shadow like a PC and compare it to PCs more than I do cloud gaming. Not that I never will. Um, I will compare some Shadow things to the cloud, uh, cloud gaming services, and I'm sure I'll do some gaming graphics comparisons to show you that you can push those graphics more with Shadow um, and things like that. But um, as far as just nuts for nuts saying Shadow's a cloud gaming platform, GeForce Now is a cloud gaming platform, Stay is a cloud, that's 
that's not true. Um, Shadow is kind of by itself and it's much closer to PCs. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump over. We're going to take a look at the, the way you bring these apps up and uh, how they load into a game, kind of how quick each one loads into a game. And that'll give me time to talk to you more. And we'll take a little bit of look at some game comparison. We'll let all three services run Metro and... Um, We'll talk some more about Shadow. We'll talk some more about the stats we're seeing and also how the testing of the cloud gaming is completely different from the testing of Shadow PC. So uh, let's jump over and uh, take a look at those things. All right, so here we are over on my uh, my main PC desktop. So what we're going to do is use this to jump into um, these apps and just show you what's going on. So first, let's just pull up NVIDIA's GeForce Now service. So like I said, I'm going to make a more in-depth video on all this soon. So I'm not getting into all the settings and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to get into each service uh, in, and compare them all in another video. But what we have here is once you bring up your app, you're ready to play a game. Boom, here you go. And uh, all of your library is going to show up here now. To find your games and add them, you got to search for them, add them to your library. Once you're good to go, you can just click play and it's going to launch. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a three-way split screen here in a little bit. And I'm going to click open on GeForce Now, Stadia, and Shadow. And we're going to let each of those load up the game all the way up until you can get to the to new game or start game. Um, that's going to give us a little bit more time to talk about what's going on and also just kind of show you the difference in what uh, you're looking at between the services there. So this is GeForce Now. You bring up your app, you launch the game. So we're going to click this and we're going to go from that point here in just a minute. All right. So next here i'm going to bring up stadia so i have stadia plus here so what i do um what this allows me to do is a lot more with the monitoring you can force 1440p uh 4k 1080p um still 60 frames a second but you can force those resolutions we will dive deeper into that into the next video and discuss all the features of each service um but here you have your um uh, let's get rid of this guy <clears throat> So here you have your uh, home. This is where all of your your games are going to show up. So we opened up GeForce Now. How you're going to launch your game. You're going to click play. We'll do that in a minute. Now we've got Stadia here. And we're ready to click play on Metro Exodus. Okay. So we're going to be doing all these at the same time here in just a minute. Now, let's open up Shadow. And you're going to see something completely different. Now, some of you all may already be very familiar with uh, what's going to happen here and with this app and when you open it up. But we're going to go in here. And now what's happening now is an actual PC is booting up into Windows 10 for me to be able to access. Completely different from just accessing a game library and clicking play and just playing on the platform. You're actually going to boot up, take care of, update whatever you're gonna you're gonna deal with shadow pc just like you would a local pc and just because they say they keep windows updated and the gpu updated they don't it's very very rare that there are already updated most of the time you need to handle your windows updates your gpu updates and things like that so here we go we're going to click start so you're going to be maintaining this pc just like you would any other pc and if you have a problem with it, you're going to be resetting it and all of that. I love that. I have no problem with it. I love to tinker with this stuff. But if you're looking for a service to just click and play, um, that's a completely different thing. So here we are in Shadow. We are booted up right here. Now here, here it looks we are we're on a PC. Completely different situation. This is not a cloud gaming platform. This is a cloud PC platform. And here you go right here. You have a lot of options that you won't have in some of the other services and information of what's going on here. And this will take you all the way. Any resolution, almost any resolution, monitor, phone, tablet, whatever you're using, Shadow will recognize it. FPS, whatever. It'll run that variable, uh, all of that. So it works just like a PC plugged into that device. It works really, really well. All of your controllers will be there. You can forward USB peripherals, all kinds of stuff. So we're not going to deep dive. We're going to do that later. But I'm just showing you completely different from what your experience is going to be just bringing up GeForce Now or Stadia. Just like on a PC, you want to go into Metro. You're going to bring up Epic. If it needs an update, you're going to update Epic. And then you're going to uh, be able to launch your game. If your game needs an update, you're going to update the game first. You don't need to do that on GeForce Now or Stadia. They're already up to date. 
but you will need to do that here just like any other PC. It's not a knock. I Like I said, I love it. I love Shadow. I love PCs. So it's all great for me. But if you're looking for that quick click and go, it's a little bit different. But luckily, we have no updates here, and we are ready to click launch. So what we're going to do next, we're going to have all three brought up on screen. We're going to click launch, and we're going to watch it go with a timer. And we will uh, we'll continue talking about Shadow and these cloud gaming services a little bit and why Shadow really is should be more compared to PCs than it should cloud gaming platforms. All right, so I've clicked launch at the exact same time on GeForce Now, Stadia, and Shadow. We've got our timer going. This is just a little bit of fun to see how, sh how a cloud PC, which is basically a PC, versus the cloud gaming. So at about 10 seconds, Shadow was booting us into the game. At about uh, 13, 14 seconds, Stadia began uh, booting us in, but it is taking longer to get to the um, to where it starts the cutscene and the opening. So there you go, 23 seconds for that one. It was about 12 on Shadow. GeForce Now is still working on it over there. GeForce Now does take a while to launch games, but like Stadia, you don't have to install them or anything. It's like a quick little click and you're done. Um, and no issue there and you don't have to update them or maintain them so they're very similar we will be doing a video very soon here comparing all the cloud services i just want to show how shadow pc is more of a pc it is a cloud pc it's not so much a cloud gaming service they do market it some as a cloud gaming service of course to get the gamers in um, but it's it's very much so uh, reacts and acts more like a PC. You do need even even with auto updates turned on, you wind up needing to update Windows, update your GPU, maintain a computer like you would with any other, install your games, update your games, install your launchers, all those kinds of things. It's nothing like using a cloud gaming service. It's exactly like using a cloud PC service or a uh, local PC. And you can see Shadow's colors are always a little bit different and warmer, I notice. It's kind of hard to see here exactly, and we're not getting into a deep dive on the games right now. This was just for fun to show the difference of the cloud PC and the cloud gaming. But I do seem to think that the colors are always a little different and maybe a little warmer sometimes on Shadow. But, it, I mean, it, it might depend now. You can see GeForce now is way behind um, with getting you into the game. Now, if this happened to be your first time ever launching Metro, so I could skip these if I wanted to, but it's not my first time. If it was your first time, you wouldn't be able to skip this intro. So that means if this were a new game that you were trying to get into and play as quickly as possible, um, if everything was already installed and whatnot, Shadow would be the quicker way to go there, then Stadia, then GeForce Now. So here we go. Shadow is about done. It's bringing us right into the menu for new game and options and all that. And when new game pops up, we'll call the time. Okay, so 2.17, I think it was about there. And now let's see what Stadia does as it finishes up. So about 2 minutes 17, Shadow had you in and ready to go without, being, without skipping the intro. And that's for uh, more of a PC type situation. Now there you go, 2.32. Uh, almost 2.33 for Stadia, and it's got you ready to go in the game. Now GeForce Now is uh, trying to catch up. It's just from its long uh, launch time, and we'll see what it does. And for some reason, it always uh, GeForce Now brings up this screen as well. All right, so we'll just sit here. We're almost done. We'll get in here with GeForce Now. I want to do this in real time. I'm sure a lot of you are just going to click and, and fast forward. That's fine. Um, but for those of you really interested, here we go. As soon as new game pops up. 3.13 for GeForce Now getting you into the game. So quite a difference there. Now we're just going to take a quick look into the settings. This is GeForce Now, which will react a lot like a PC. It is going to run ultra. Uh, we do have d uh, ray tracing off right now. I could use it with Founders, but I'm not doing it because I'm not using it on anything else. So this is going to mimic PC settings. The difference, though, is GeForce highly recommends you do not touch these settings, and they will even reset them on you most of the time if you do try to. Um, they really want all the games set a certain way. Now, here's your Stadia settings. Boom, done. You, you know, very much like a console, or I'm sure it's how a lot of games. You're not going to get any settings. Um, Google has this running how they want it to run. Then on Shadow, it'll look like GeForce Now because it's full PC, but you can actually change any of these you want, do whatever you want with the settings, and expect to be just fine. As to where with GeForce Now, it can get a little quirky if you change the settings because for a cloud gaming service, they're relying on those settings being a certain way. So now you can see here with GeForce Now, Stadia, and Shadow, we're just going to come into some a couple more split-screen uh, areas of the game for the fun of it. 
You can check out the difference in the graphics. Remember, we are supposedly Ultra on GeForce Now. I don't know what Stadia runs at exactly, and Shadow is Ultra. Uh, pretty much same settings on those two. Um, we are 1080p on both Shadow and GeForce Now. Stadia is streaming at 1440p, but I don't know that it's gaming at 1440p. Um, and they all look, they're all streaming really well. Shadow was streaming to me at 1440p as well while playing uh, at 1080p while having variable refresh rate. So Shadow is so much closer to a PC, it's not even funny. That's why I really like to test it and treat it as one and compare it to other PCs. I will compare games, how they look to cloud gaming and things like that. And we'll get into latency. I always show you that stuff in Shadow benchmarks, what we're doing with that. But it's so much more about the MSI Afterburner and getting all these numbers and really treating it like a PC. So I thought this was cool to take a look at and kind of explain how I go about my testing here on the channel and why Shadow mostly gets compared to uh, PCs in itself. But in the future, I will be doing more, more dives into how games look on all these different things, especially when the new consoles come out. So once we get done with this spot, we're going to do a quick transition into uh, just kind of standing still um, and checking out the three different services here so here we go we're just going to be standing still we'll start off with geforce now we fade into stadia and we'll fade over into shadow and there you go all right and for our final split screen run through just for the fun of it you can see here same setup and you can just kind of check out. They all basically look the same. And this game's not that difficult for them to run. GeForce Now and Shadow can run Ultra 1080p no problem. So I'm imagining Stadia is having no problem. Even though it's streaming at 1440p. And it did that very well. I love that feature that Stadia has now with the 1440p stream. It makes a big difference on my 1440p monitor for sure. But anyways, guys, it's not, um, I just wanted to kind of maybe give you a better idea of what the difference is between a cloud gaming service and a cloud PC service that can game in the cloud and uh, kind of give you more insight as to how I go about testing here on the channel, how I'll be testing cloud services like GeForce Now, Stadia, PS Now, xCloud when it comes out, how I'll be treating Shadow PC as a cloud PC, but yes, still comparing its games and its performance to other systems and cloud gaming, um, but just in a little bit different way because it does act more like a PC. So it's more like me uh, comparing my RTX 2060 build to GeForce Now and Stadia than it is anything else. So that's just kind of the point. So thanks a lot, guys, for coming to check out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the bell. Give a thumbs up, leave your comment. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.